Okay, so in this video, we're gonna do the first step to make a bobblehead um, animation. So we're gonna be using this Superimpose app right here that has the hot air balloon. So I'm gonna open that up. And it's cool if you take a picture using a green screen, but you don't actually have to do that. So if you just wanna use a picture off the internet, like I'm gonna do, you can do that and we'll just mask out the background. I'm gonna start by selecting these two rectangles in the upper left hand corner. And notice it says import background. So we're gonna select the background first and we are not gonna do photos or clipboard. We're gonna pick a color. So I'm gonna tap on pick a color. And then um, I'm gonna have my background be blue. Really doesn't matter, just something like bright so you notice what it is, something different than what's actually in the photo that you're gonna use. Once I'm happy with my color, I'm gonna tap on this um, check mark right here. So I'm gonna tap on that to hit accept. Now we're gonna add in a foreground image. So I'm again gonna go up to these um, rectangles in the upper left hand corner, tap on that, and notice there are two options now. Make sure you're looking at import foreground. That's at the top. We want to tap on photos underneath import foreground. Okay, so for the foreground, we want to use the photo. And I'm going to be using the full body photo of whomever, you know, maybe it's of you. I'm using Lady Gaga. So I really want to use this photo. So I'm going to select choose down here in the bottom right hand corner. So there she is, she popped up on here. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna mask out the background and save her with just a transparent background, okay? So to do that, we have some options down here along the bottom of the screen. We wanna select mask. And you can try to use the option that is automatically selected, which is a magic wand. So you can tap in the background and that usually gets rid of a lot of stuff in the background. If you accidentally take away too much, like, if you notice on here, I accidentally took away some of the stripes in her outfit. That's okay. I'll add those back in. I'll show you guys how to do that. So I'm going to continue to use the mask tool, but you know what? That one took away way too much. Look at her face. It took away like a ton of her face. So I'm going to hit the undo button, which is up here in the upper left hand corner. So I'm going to tap undo and it brought her face back. I'm going to try to do a little bit more with that magic wand though. And um, I think that's probably all I can do with the magic wand. Okay, so there's still a lot of like chunks of things that I still need to delete. And then some areas like in her dress that I need to add back in, right? They turn blue where they're actually supposed to be black. Now this is a very strange part of the Superimpose app. Usually when you're using the eraser tool, it gets rid of stuff. But in this case, the eraser tool actually adds things back in. So. It's the second one down there. I just selected it. I wanna tap okay when this little box pops up. Actually, cl click, click on got it, don't show me again. And then you can really zoom in. And remember, this is gonna be the opposite. We can paint back in or erase back in all the stuff that we accidentally took away but we wanna keep. And this little circle that keeps popping up, this is like a magnifying glass. It's just gonna like really magnify the area that we're on so we can see it better. So I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time getting her arms back in. And if you wanna make the brush smaller, all that you're gonna do is tap on the tool and this little box will pop out and I can make the brush size bigger or smaller. And remember, the eraser actually paints, and then wait, you'll see that the paintbrush actually erases. All right, so I think I have everything added back in that I wanna add back in, but look at this background. I have got to get rid of like this guy's head and the ceiling and all of this stuff. So I'm gonna go down to the paintbrush. So it's the fourth selection down here. Okay, I'm gonna tap on that. And I can tap on it again, and then there's those, op those same options that we saw on the um, eraser, right? Remember that even though this is the brush, it's actually gonna erase. So I can start with it really, really big. So here's a tiny brush, here's a big brush. You can see it changing in the center there. 
I'm gonna start with a really big brush. and I'm gonna get just like the basic stuff first. So I'm gonna make sure I stay really far away from her. I don't wanna accidentally delete part of Gaga's outfit again. But if I did, no big deal. I'll just add it back in with the eraser tool. So I'm using the, whoops, got a little too much there. I just hit the undo button. I'm using the paintbrush tool to remember erase some of the background. So I'm painting the background away. All right, I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm gonna make it really small. All right, I just have to do her shoes. And now I think I'm ready to go. Okay, so pay, a, pay really close attention to this step. So we wanna save her just like this, just this foreground image, and she's actually has a transparent background right now, okay? So she's on a blue background, but we wanna just save this foreground. We wanna select home first, okay? Now, we wanna select this little option here. It's a rectangle with an arrow pointing to the right. So I'm gonna tap on that. Okay, you have to make sure that foreground is selected. It's the one in the center. Mine's already lit up. So you can see backgrounds lit up. I don't want that. I want foreground selected. Once you have foreground selected, you want to select mask as PNG. So I'm going to tap on that and it's saving it to my camera roll. I'm going to go into the camera roll and double check that it's there. It should be the thing saved last. So here she is down here. Okay, and notice there she is with no background, right? That blue is gone because we only saved the foreground, right? Remember that was selected. Okay, let's go back into the Superimpose app. And now what we have to do is make two more files, one with just her body and one with just her head. So first what I'm gonna do from this step is I'm gonna select the mask again down here on the bottom and I'm going to get rid of her head. So remember, it's opposite. I'm gonna use the paintbrush. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger and I'm going to brush out her head. I can leave her hair that's like coming down onto her shoulders there, but I'm mostly just concerned with, whoops getting rid of her head. So I'm just gonna go zip across the top and erase the rest of that. Okay, now I am going to now do the same steps again to save it. I'm gonna tap home. I'm gonna tap the rectangle with the arrow pointing to the right, tap on that. Foreground is selected, mask as PNG, okay? So we can double check that it's saved in there, go into the photo library, and here's the body, no head, right? Transparent background. Let's go back into the Superimpose app. Now, to do this though, we need to get rid of her body and have her head, so we have to do something. We're gonna tap on the two rectangles, and we're gonna select photos under import foreground. Select photos. We're gonna tap on replace it. And then it should be the last thing that you added. I got a lot of photos in here, so I'm gonna scroll, scroll, scroll. And I wanna select the one of her head and body, the transparent background, right? The one that we saved first. And I'm gonna select choose here. And look, her head came back. Okay, so now I'm going to delete her body, but leave her head. So I have to select mask down here. 
I'm gonna have the brush, because remember it's opposite, it's really weird. And I'm gonna do the same thing, but now I'm gonna zip off her body. Not really gonna worry about the hair for this. You can worry about that if you want to. I'm not really going to though. And I wanna save this. I'm gonna tap home. I'm gonna tap the rectangle with the arrow pointing to the right. Make sure foreground is selected and mask as PNG. Pop back over into my photo library. Check it out, we have the body, we have the head. At this point, you can go into your Do Ink animation app, make a new composition, tap on your camera at the top, find first the body with no head, hit use, tap on the camera again, find the head without the body, hit use again, and now you have those in there as separate entities, which now you will learn how to animate those in the next video.